Time to wrap up our fish dissection. We've done a lot. We've seen a lot so far. We've looked at a lot of anatomy. Remember, anatomy means the body parts of the fish. And since we're studying fish, what do we call it? We call it ichthyology. So we've done anatomy, we've done ichthyology, uh, we've looked at a lot of parts. Still though, we have not covered anywhere near everything there is to see, both on the inside or the outside of that fish. But if you thought doing a dissection was cool, maybe you have what it takes to become an ichthyologist someday. Or maybe you think it would just be neat to be a veterinarian, or a nurse, or an eye surgeon. We worked on eyes. Maybe you want to be an eye surgeon. All those are awesome jobs, and they all use the same types of science that we used when we dissected our fish. Now though, before we're done, our final job is going to be to try and locate the brain inside of this perch. Brains are delicate, right? They need lots of protection. Same reason why we wear a helmet when we play football or ride our bike. We need to protect our brain. And what do you think surrounds the brain of the fish or you to protect it? It's a hard bone. It's called the skull, and we've got to get through the skull and find the fish's brain. So let's get going. So to find the brain in our perch, we want to kind of figure out where that brain would be to begin with. And if we find the eye, the brain's right up here in the top of its head, back behind the eye. The problem with doing this, though, we have to get the skull apart. It's a hard bone, but we have to be really careful. If we hit that brain with our tweezers or our scissors, it's going to turn to mush, and there's going to be nothing for us to see. So very carefully, we're going to make a couple of cuts. We're going to start. We're going to go from one eye to the other on the perch, just right down its skull. We'll cut through the skull there. And then we have to turn and cut right up the fish's skull without cutting too deeply. The brain's inside of there. We do not want to touch it with our scissors. So we've got two cuts. We made a cut this way. We make a cut this way. And somewhere hidden underneath there, the brain is down inside. It doesn't want to just pop right open and show us our brain. So this is our chance. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some strong thumbs. We have to try and wedge our thumbs into that first cut that we made and see if we can pry that apart. Pry apart the other side. And if we do that successfully and pry away a little bit of the bone and the muscle that's in there, we may get lucky and be able to see our fish's brain. It's pretty well hidden in, in this fish. We'll get through there, clean off some of that. The brain is right underneath. It's kind of a light pink colored. We'll get rid of some of the fluid and the liquid. And the brain is right down inside of here. This light pink right there is all of the fish's brain. And it's not really made of muscle uh, like the other tissue, so we can just grab it like we did the heart and just yank it right out of there. But we may, we can give it a try. At the front of the brain are going to be the optic nerves, and at the back it's going to run into the fish's spine. This one is getting pretty soft, but we're starting to lift it. That whole pink thing underneath the end of the tweezers is the fish's brain. So here's one more fish that we, uh, we got the brain. This one shows up a little bit better. You can see the lobes are the three parts of the brain, three parts of this one. The optic nerve is this little white line right here that's attached to the back of the fish's eye. That shows up pretty nicely. But again, you can see just how small that brain is and where it is right behind the fish's eyes. I wonder why it's so hard for me to catch a fish when they have such a small brain. Well, anyway, what did you think of our perch dissection? It's a great way to learn some science things like the words anatomy, ichthyology, and really it makes me appreciate how complex and really neat all of these body parts inside of a fish like a perch really are. In fact, it kind of makes me want to just get outside and go fishing myself, so that's where I'm going. Thanks for watching our fish dissection.